Hello, my name is Dr Sandra Cabot. I'm a medical doctor who has a special interest in the liver and I've written several books on liver health. Why the liver, you may ask? Well, for many good reasons. The liver is the filter and cleanser of your bloodstream, the major fat burning organ in your body, the largest organ in your body, it's also the organ of longevity and it's the hardest working organ in your body. Indeed, the liver is a filter that protects your body from toxic overload. The liver filter is an incredible organ which can remove undesirable particles from our bloodstream, such as dead cells, cancer cells, microorganisms such as bacteria and viruses, globules of unhealthy fat and toxic chemicals. However, if your liver filter is not healthy and can't remove these undesirable things from the bloodstream, they will build up and return in the circulation to the right side of the heart. They can then damage the delicate lining of the blood vessels and this can lead to hardening and blockage of the blood vessels. Toxic substances that are not removed by the liver and build up in the bloodstream increase the workload of the immune system and this can lead to allergies and inflammation in your body. Because the liver filter can remove and destroy cancer cells, it's imperative that it's kept healthy to reduce the risk of cancer spreading in our body. Many people today do not have good health. I see unwell people all the time in my practice that have been to many, many doctors looking for an answer. And they find it hard to get an answer that really treats the cause of their problems. You know, very few people think of the liver as a possible cause of their ill health. Indeed, modern day medicine tends to treat the symptoms of diseases, particularly liver dysfunction, with drugs that just suppress the symptoms but really don't address the liver. Now, if your liver is not working properly, you won't feel well. What are some of the symptoms of an overloaded or toxic or dysfunctional liver? Well, there's many, particularly fatigue, abdominal bloating and congestion. There may actually be pain and discomfort here over the liver, which is situated here in the right upper abdomen. And also accumulation of abdominal fat with a pop belly. You can actually get a roll of fat here around the upper abdomen, which I call the liver roll. Indigestion and intolerance to rich food, reflux and heartburn, hemorrhoids, fatty yellowish lumps in the skin, often around the eyes, and we give them a strange name called xanthelasmas. It probably fascinates you, I'm sure, but if your doctor tells you you've got fatty lumps in your skin full of cholesterol, and uses the word xanthelasma, you'll know it's related to a fatty liver. Another symptom of a dysfunctional liver is overheating. So you feel too hot and you may also sweat excessively. Body odour and bad breath, itchy skin, skin rashes and brown liver spots, red itchy eyes, allergies, blood sugar levels going up and down and of course this can lead to diabetes. Other symptoms of a dysfunctional liver are headaches, particularly migraines or headaches associated with nausea and vomiting, gallstones and gallbladder attacks, unexplained weight gain, particularly in the abdominal area, and inability to lose weight, high blood pressure, high levels of fats in the blood such as cholesterol and triglycerides, and also depression and a poor memory. You may not realize that the liver affects your mood, but indeed it does. So all this can lead to symptoms of excessive weight, diabetes and an overloaded immune system. And you know your immune system is one of your greatest health assets. And I often say the liver is a protector of the immune system. Another good reason to look after the hardest working organ in your body. Now all of these problems are unfortunately very common today. No one thinks about the liver 
That's why I often call the liver the forgotten organ. Liver dysfunction is far more common than liver disease and is related to our diet and lifestyle factors. We know we often consume too much processed fats, artificial chemicals, sugar, sweeteners, pesticides in the environment. We often take too many antibiotics, hormones, drugs, all of these things will greatly increase the workload of your poor old liver. So in this day and age, the liver is working a lot harder than it was 50 years ago. So because of my special interest in the liver, I'm often called the liver doctor. And my vital rules for healthy liver are used by the Australian Hepatitis C Foundation. Fatty liver, however, is far from healthy. Basically, a fatty liver is being choked with unhealthy fat, which is building up within it. So the healthy liver cells and the spaces between them, which comprise the liver filter, actually become choked and swollen with fat. And this distorts the liver structure and architecture so that the liver filter cannot filter the bloodstream efficiently. So, Instead of the liver being a highly organised mechanical filter that keeps your bloodstream clean and healthy, it is unable to remove the toxins from the bloodstream so you have unhealthy blood returning to the right side of the heart. And this gets pumped around the rest of the body. It's full of fat and toxins which can damage your heart and your immune system. So let's just remind ourselves again about how incredible a healthy liver filter is and why everybody needs one. The liver filter can remove all the undesirable things from your bloodstream, such as dead and unhealthy cells, cancer cells, and that's very important if you want to prevent cancer or if you've had cancer and you want to reduce your risk of cancer coming back or reduce your risk of cancer spreading. You need a healthy liver. The liver filter can remove toxic chemicals, of which there are so many today in our environment, can remove unhealthy bacteria and other microorganisms from the bloodstream, which could lead to infections. It removes unhealthy globules of fat. Now, if it doesn't remove these things, they'll build up in your bloodstream and overload your immune system, and this will lead to more rapid aging. So, going back to my first observations 10 years ago of the emerging new epidemic of fatty liver, I became intrigued by looking into new ways to support liver function and to reverse this epidemic of fatty liver. And that inspired me to write the now famous Liver Cleansing Diet book and indeed other books on the liver such as the Healthy Liver and Bowel book. And also, to start our new website called liverdoctor.com, which is a wealth of information to help people with a fatty liver. Now, the liver cleansing diet is an eight-week cleansing program which detoxifies the liver and bowels. is very, very popular all over the world. It's been translated into eight different languages. I'd also um, like to reinforce that there are specific foods and supplements that can heal your liver and remove this deadly fat from the liver. And also there are very good liver tonics, such as the liver tone range, which are able to support and help liver function. Thankfully, the condition of fatty liver responds extremely well to correct treatment and is reversible. The trick is, pick it up before it's too late.